Hi there and welcome! I'll help guide you in your journey to start designing and making your very own robots. In the previous video, part 1, we saw the main classes which we can divide robots in. We saw the difference between autonomous and controlled robots, mechanical versus electric and electronic. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out part 1. I've put a link in the description below. Last time, I showed you the simplest most basic robots can be made electrically without using electronics. In this video, we'll take a look at more real robotics, which all use electronics as some form of intelligence. First of all, in electronics there are two major classes. They are in fact quite different. I'm talking about analog electronics versus digital. Analog is how all electronics used to be made. Nowadays everything seems to become digital. But what is the difference? Let's take a look at what analog and digital actually means. An analog value is a range. An analog voltage signal can be anywhere between 0 and 5 volt for example. There are infinite values between those two limits. There are no steps, so the value can be anything between 0 volts and 5 volts. There is nothing defining any steps because voltage is a physical value. Just like the temperature of a room for example. That could be anywhere between, let's say, 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. It could be 20.0000 degrees. 15.45316 or even 12.99993 There are infinite possibilities between 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. As most people know, a digital signal consists of ones and zeros, named bits. It's called binary code and is basically just a number. To compare with the analog 5 volt example, a typical value range in digital systems is a full byte, which is 8 bits. Each bit has a decimal value. The bit can either be a 1, which is called high, or a 0, which is called low. To make the decimal number 0, the binary code is just 8 zeros. The number 8 is represented like this. The value of the bit is 8. Since only this bit goes high, the value of the decimal code becomes decimal value 8. The number 20 is just a combination of values 16 and 4, which gives us the binary code of 00010100. If we make every bit high, we can see that the sum of all values is 255. This is the highest number possible, with 8 bits. This means that the range of 8 bits or byte is between 0 and 255. Now, compared to the analog value, this doesn't have infinite values in between. There are only 256 combinations possible, from 0 up to 255. The possibilities are limited. This leaves us with two conclusions. An analog signal is in theory more accurate and can contain more information because there are infinite values between two limits. A digital signal is in theory more stable because it is just a number. A number is not prone to interference or external influences. A number has a steady value. In the next video we will take a look at how different the actual electronics are and how that affects the way we can design our robots. Stay tuned to learn more about how to start with making robots. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.